I'm a beast when you turn me on Into the future Cybertron Harder, faster, better, stronger Texting ladies extra longer Cause we got to beat that bounce We got to beat that pound We got to beat that Good morning, Moolah And welcome I'm Jacob and This is Josh, I'm Josh. With your Wacky Wednesday a wayward pet pig whose residency was challenged by Pennsylvania Township officials has been resumed, uh, returned to its owners. Uh, Vietnamese micro pot belly pig named Steve was reunited with Brian McGuire and Burnett Broadhurst on Friday. Broadhurst says Rodley Township Commissioner personally delivered the annual days after he'd been taken from to a farm by police. McGuire, McGuire says Steve had apparently escaped from his yard and disappeared. When he checked with the police to see if the animal had been spotted, McGuire says he was told it was found but sent to a farm because of a township ban on keeping farm animals. Good Lord. A 33-year-old man who bit back after he was caught by a Phoenix police dog is suffering, is suing the police. It's not so smart. Aaron <laughs> Sullivan alleges I bit at a dog, like bit a dog. Like, yeah, why would you bite a police dog? It's not so smart. Eric Sullivan, Aaron Sullivan alleges the dog violated his civil rights and, ex and used exclusive force excessive force to capture him after he ran from officers in the Glenadale during a burglary investigation last year. Police say Sullivan bit the dog back, injuring it. The lawsuit names the cities of Phoenix and Glenadale and four officers. Wow. Officials in Glenadale and Phoenix have declined comment. So, but also oh, allergies. Also, Glendale police refused to give him insulin to treat his diabetes. Sullivan's attorney, Keith Knowlton, has said his client suffered from a diabetic diabetic seizure in a Glendon Glendale Glendale cell. Sullivan is serving eight years for his convictions in the Glendale burglary. I can't talk. A ten-year-old boy who earned a spot in a national penmanship contest despite being born without hands and lower arms in a league of his own. <laughs> that is talent. And Nicholas Maximum, a fifth grader at Reedfield Elementary School, who writes by holding a pencil between his arms, expressed who writes by holding a pen. Oh wait, oops. Express judges judge. Judges at a national penmanship contest, impressed. even though yes. impressed the judges, <laughs> even though that they had created a category for students. Josh, I need glasses. <laughs> I think I do too. With disabilities, Maxim received the first Nicholas Maxim Special Award for excellent penmanship this week at school's assembly. Judges who sifted through 200,000 handwriting entries in the annual contest from Columbus, Ohio, based school book closure Zayner Blosser said the new category will inspire others. Maxim, who said he likes writing and illustrating comic strips, didn't know his paper had even been submitted to the contest, so Monday's school assembly is in his honor came as a surprise. And now to the weather with Ellison. You forgot our sports. Hello, this is your morning girl. My name is Elson here with your weather for today. Today is today is Wednesday and there's going to be a high of 72 and a low of 64. There might be a chance of severe thunderstorms in the morning though, so watch out for that on your way to school. And then on the weekends it's going to be really it's going to be pretty darn warm. It's going to be in the 70s, the low 70s, but there might be rain and storms as well then. Now get 
Now let's get to the announcements with Jacob and Spencer. I am Jacob again, and this is Spencer. Spencer. Auditions for the BMECA Choir and the Bait Rhythm and Percussion Ensemble will take place this week. Sign up with Miss Ellis in the music room ASAP. Not last week, not next week, this week. This week. Applications for the advanced art class for the 2011-2012 school year are available from Miss Green. G R E E N Green, the color green. Anything you think of green, Miss Green. Green. BMECA Forensics auditions will take place during school hours for eligible students only. Please talk to Ms. Marlowe if you have any questions. Parents can email beth.marlowe at danville.kyschools.us. With any questions. With any questions. And Google. Google. Just this Friday, April 22nd, Thursday, April 28th, Bait Middle School. We'll be having a spring buy one, get one free book fair. It's a great time to stock up. Times vary depending on the day, so please check one of the signs around school for hours. The parents' census forms that were sent and mailed to the parents with the report cards are to be turned in to Miss Scrubs by May 1st. Eighth grade, day at the ballpark, you go to the Lexington Legends game on May 18th. How have nine. The merits are less from March 30th to May 18th. Be passing all classes, no lives, or O, R, <laughs> or or, huh? From March 30th to May 18th. A drawing will be held at the end of the school year for four free iPods to students through the Good Effort Reward Program. If you take your time, you get a point. If you have good behavior, you get a point. If you even show up, you get a point, and etc. Lunch today! I don't know what it is. Lunch today will be delicious. Yes. <laughs> National Junior Honor Society students. I've got this one. If you are interested in attending the field trip okay. to camp. You may go. You need to bring in a check or cash as soon as possible for the amount of the trip. See Miss Chedistore or Miss Cochran for more information. Indeed. 7th grade will host their talent show at 2.40 p.m. on April 28th. A pep rally will be held on April 29th to the kickoff of the CATS CATS testing in the weeks of May 2nd through May 13th, I think. Yes. And the giver will be performed on April 27th, Friday. That is this Friday, at 1 p.m. Danville High School. Yes. That's all for today, folks. Roll Tide.